So first official question, how or have you always lived in Wayne County? All but about six months of my life, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so how long would that be? Oh, about, 55 years. Okay, about 55 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, where did you live before then? I moved to Savannah for about six months when okay. I was in my 20s. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Then right. I came back home. Very nice. So <laughs> Wayne County is home for you. Mm -hmm. Do you live in Jessup or? In Scriven. In Scriven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then what type of home do you uh, live in? Are you in like a? Um, it's a brick home. Okay. 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 So a multifamily type home? Multiple bedrooms? Yes, kind of three home. bedrooms. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's a freestanding structure, no duplex or apartment kind of thing. It is a no. home. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then are you an owner or a renter? Owner. Your home. Home owner. Okay. And how long have you lived in your current home? 31 years. 31 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have lived in other homes while you've been here in Wayne County? Yes. But that have been your parents? Home? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. So just real quick, I'll also tell you a little bit more about me since you're sharing about you too. Okay. Um, I grew up in Glenn County, and that's where my dad is from, and mm -hmm. that's where I live right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom is from Ware County, and my okay. grandma still lives there. Mm -hmm. So my whole family is from Southeast. So not too far from Wayne County. <gasps> no, not at all. <laughs> and uh, I uh, just within this past year um, mm -hmm. moved in with my sister. She just bought her first home. Mm -hmm. And it's a little uh, duplex, so we have one little side that we live in mm -hmm. together. So I'm a renter. <laughs> she is the, the She's homeowner. the homeowner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we do not have solar panels on our house. <laughs> uh, so that's just a little bit about me mm -hmm. and uh, where I'm from. So let's see. We talked about the kind of house that you live in as well. Mm -hmm. So on your current home, do mm -hmm. you have any kind of solar technology? At your house, whether it's on your rooftop or in your yard or any kind of solar technology. Just the little outdoor lights, I mean, that go around in the flower beds. Okay. okay those are solar. Okay. Like going down your sidewalk kind mm -hmm. of thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And those are just the ones you stick in. They got little panels on the top. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, look at you. You yeah. do have a little bit of solar <laughs> Just a little bit. At your house. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we do have that little bit of solar on your property. Have y'all mm -hmm. ever thought about having any other kind of solar technology at your house? I hadn't really thought about it. Mm. Okay. Alrighty. So why did you decide to have your little solar lights on your sidewalk installed? Oh, it's just so much easier than having to, you know, run an extension cord or bury the underground cables and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Just convenience. More convenient source mm -hmm. of power. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So for the rooftop solar, you said mm -hmm. you do not have that at your house. No. Nope. Is that ever something that y'all considered having at your home? For, you know, being as old as it is, it just seems like it would be a lot of renovation to do. Okay. You know, I mean, because you've got to get it attached, mm -hmm. and you've got to run the cables somewhere. Mm -hmm. So. So, more hassle? Yeah, more hassle and expense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. I guess if we were replacing the roof, it might not have been so bad, you know. Mm hmm But. So at this point in time, do you ever mm -hmm. see yourself trying that at your house, like to have a rooftop panel? If I had to do major structural work, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. If a tree fell on it or something, you know. Okay. So work on the rooftop of the house, then you might look into it if you're already doing something up there. Right. Then, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Alrighty. So that kind of covers our first little section there. Let me make sure I didn't skip anything important. So I think we're good with that section here. All right. So just to summarize that, though, so you do mm -hmm. have a little bit of solar technology at your home bit, on your yep. sidewalk. Nothing on the rooftop. No plans, really, to do that. But maybe later on, mm -hmm. if the opportunity presented itself, you might look into it. Yep. If we okay. had to do a major renovation. Yeah. Okay. And just a little quick question to add on to that. Mm -hmm. In your household, would it be you or any mm -hmm. other people in your household that would make that decision? It would be joint with me and my husband. Okay. Mm -hmm. All righty. Very good. So next then, instead of just talking about your home, we're going to talk about a rooftop solar adoption in general, mm -hmm. so where other people might have it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got two maps here, and we're going to start with um, our map of the United States first. So I'll let you just mm -hmm. take a look at that for a minute, and i got a pen, or you got a pen over there yep. as well? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so on that map, I just want you to take a look at the states and decide where you think within the United States the, or the most solar technology would be. No right or wrong answer, just whatever comes to mind where you think people would have the most solar technology. And you can circle multiple spots if you think it's more than one or if you just think there might be one main area. Well, yeah, if you, I would probably think, Anywhere that there was desert where you wouldn't have a lot of trees obscuring or anything. Okay. So that would be what, like, say, the Texas area, okay. maybe, what is this, Utah here? Uh -huh. So kind In of Nevada. that Midwesty area yeah. where yeah. you've got the deserts. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't That's know all of my western states so I can't tell you exactly but I see yeah. what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. that's what okay. that, that's just what I would think desert areas you know trees I mean mm -hmm. because if you think over here how many trees you've got along the Appalachian thing mm -hmm. it might be harder okay mm -hmm. so that makes sense then logically it just in that area in the middle of the United States where there's desert less trees it just makes sense they're going to get more sunlight have more space to put them right mm -hmm. okay that's what I think yeah. very good excellent mm -hmm. so same thing then also with the map of Georgia so in our state where mm -hmm. do you think we would have the most solar adoption hmm. well, no right or wrong answer so just your opinion based on you know what you do or don't know about solar power why or why not people might have it in one area more so than another? Probably, I would say, probably more in the Atlanta area be okay. just because it's um, there's more population there. So you could probably transition things better, whereas like how rural we are, mm -hmm. uh, it just seems like it would be... Well, I guess you wouldn't have to be connected. I just think you'd be have more opportunities okay. there. Alrighty, can you make your circle a little darker for me here just to make sure I can see? Okay, perfect. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And just remind me one more time why you thought that area again. Just because it would be more changes going mm -hmm. on in that area. I mean, more construction. I mean, you okay. know, how many strip malls and stuff like that. You're going to get down here versus mm -hmm. Atlanta's always growing and okay. moving further out. So There's more new then, construction going on there. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I see what you're saying. So there's already mm -hmm. new development going on. It'd be easy for them to just kind of pop a panel <laughs> right. on whatever they're building. <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. right. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to go through the process of adding something on like you were talking about with, with your house. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So then... Let's see. We went through that as well. Okay, so I don't really only have one more little section left for us. Okay. So this one is just thinking about um, people that you know here in the area, so friends and family. Mm -hmm. um, what about most of your close friends here in Georgia or family? Do mm -hmm. they have solar? Do you know anybody with solar power at their home? On their rooftop or, any, I guess, any other type as well? I, well, the uh, gate that goes to my mom's house is so has a solar panel that opens and closes okay. the gate. Okay. Um, other than that, I don't really know of anyone that has solar panels on their home. Okay. And if you had to guess, why do you think none of them have it either? Would it be similar to your reason or different reasons? Please? Right, because, yeah, I just guess it would be harder to add it to an existing home rather than making it a part of a new home. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep, that makes sense. And with your mom and her gates, um, mm -hmm. why do you think she decided to do a little solar panel there? Because it was a new project, and she didn't want to dig up half the yard to put down electrical wires to hmm. okay. get the so gate. a little more convenient. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And maybe, would you say that's kind of less effort for her to have to do, too? Oh, to, yeah, because she can use yeah. the clicker. I mean, she's getting old, so she doesn't have to get out in the rain and open okay. the gate so she can drive in. Yeah. yeah. Because, it, you know, it's a gate across the driveway. So, yeah, it defeats the purpose of the right. rain. <laughs>